Strawberry Switch, they just scored three times, can't score three nil. Uh, Rosenshield, welcome to the store again. Hello. Yeah. It looks great. Have you been working on some new clothes? Been knocking these up yes. in your spare time? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Listen, before we do anything else, we pick one of our prizes from last week, a zoo bargain from last week. Definitely. Uh, hello, Jason. Yeah. All right, just come see the girls, have you? Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, the question was, a python is not a poisonous snake. How does it kill its prey? How does a python kill its prey? The answer is by constriction. Do you know that? Yes, you do. You've yeah. been strangled by one. Uh, the prize of the zoo membership, uh, which is free, and also the pamphlets, and the details of all the schemes about how you can get into the zoo cheaply, goes to somebody in there. Do you want to dip in there, Jill? Pick one out. Jason, you were fabulous. Thank you. I find if you pretend you're under five, you get into the zoo for free. Do you get away with that? <laughs> Got to get in your hands half, and knees. Half fares on the buses. Uh, what? Uh, this is Darren Armstrong from Middlesex. From Isleworth in Middlesex. Darren Armstrong, yeah. well done to you. We'll be going to the zoo. Hope you like the zoo. Right, and uh, we've got some people over here who are going to ask us a few questions. Some people in the coffee shop. Are you prepared for a few? Well, well prepared to still have a few. Okay, where should we start? We'll start with the lady on the end. You're, you're Rachel, aren't you? Now, you've just bumped into our surprise guest for this morning later on, and you're still shaking. <laughs> Don't tell us. <laughs> Don't tell us who it is, Jeff Capes. And no, don't, no, don't tell us who it is yet. What's your question for the Strawberry Switch? How did you get together? How did we get together? We were thrown together. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no. We met through our boyfriend. A punk disco. A punk disco. <coughs> how, how, when was that? What, sort of 70s, late, late 70s punk? Yeah. Great, that was, punk was really at its height then, wasn't it? Yeah. Were you both wild out and out punks? We were. Oh, absolutely. We used to have to go to Paisley, which was outside Glasgow, because it was banned in Glasgow, you see. Right. They wouldn't have any gigs. Right. We used to have to get a coach load of us used to go out, cross the border or whatever. Um, have punks <laughs> all life. travel. Right, Alison, what's your question? Where did you get your name, Strawberry Switchblade, from? A friend who used to be in Armstrong, he's now in a band called Memphis. James Kirk, he thought of the name. Yeah. It seems to work. It's a good name as well. What's your name, Adam? Ah, oh, a badge called Emma. Right, what's your question? Um, how long did it take you to do your hair? <laughs> well, this morning it only took me ten minutes because it wasn't very clean. It's easier if it's dusty. I've said this before. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it does take quite a while the first, you know, the first day. And you have to pleat it all and then take it out. And it, takes, yeah. it could take about half an hour. How long does it take you to do yours? <laughs> <laughs> Now a man who spends an hour on his hair, Jason. You have to work now. Well, is your image being influenced by any of our pop stars in the uh, pop scene? Image? No, I mean, basically our, our image to begin with was, was basically, we just, we just sort of, it was just up to what we had, what, we, what was available yeah. to we us. We had the image before we had the group. So we, we, you know, I mean, we've been dressing up since punk, so. But basically, it was what was available to us in Glasgow, which wasn't very It's nice because what around. you've got now, you can keep adding to and say, I know, we'll yeah. do this and we'll do this. So you can just <laughs> you add get to a it. Bit heavy, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I really, you can work the first prize in a flash on it because it's wonderful. It's absolutely amazing. fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Do you actually make those? You buy them and add them to what you've already made? No, we buy the flowers. Yeah. They, sometimes they you cost make them, more than yeah. everything else. So we arrange them in our hair, you know, sometimes they're more elaborate than, than other kinds. I just get strange looks on the bus. Uh, right, if you want to grab one of your phones behind you, okay. we can talk to somebody. I don't know who's on there. Uh, Alan Richardson. Morning, Al. Hello. Where are you calling from? Salzburg. It's near Croydon. Right, near Croydon. Salzburg. Right. Okay, you're through to Jill and Rose. Hello. Um, Hello. I was wondering, did you think that Mother's Day has become too commercial? It's become too commercial. <clears throat> oh, I suppose it has, but, you know, it's quite a nice idea to let yeah. your mum not do the dishes for one day <laughs> or something like that, you know. What do you think? Well, I think it is really because you have to buy cards and that now which says to my favourite auntie and everything on Mother's Day. To your favourite auntie? Auntie on Mother's Day? Yeah. Yeah. Does your mum make you do that? I think they have a day for everybody now, don't they? Practically, yeah. Well, All right. OK, good point there. Maybe the, the flower sale will take note and keep the prices down today. Okay, and uh, also on the line we've got Linda Griffiths. Hello, Linda. Hello. Hello, where are you calling from? Clacton-on-Sea. Clacton-on-Sea, what a lovely place to be. A bit cold today. You're through to Jill and Rose. Thank you. Jill, who makes your clothes? Who makes our clothes? Well, we usually make all of our own clothes, but right now we're getting a bit busy, so we'll have to get somebody to make them for us soon. And Rose, yeah, where do you get them from? I make all my own. As Jill says, though, we're getting a bit busy, so we're going to have to look for someone soon. 
Okay? Yes. Right. Thank you. Sharon Young. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sharon. You're through to Children Rose. Hello. Hello. Um, who or what makes you laugh? <laughs> Rose makes me laugh. Quite a lot. I make Joe laugh, and Joe laughing makes me laugh. <laughs> what a happy little couple. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're really unbearable. What sort of comedians start. make you laugh? Uh, anybody on television make you laugh? Oh, well, the young ones. I mean, all yeah, the comics. Yeah, the young ones are good. Robbie Coltrane is great. He's an absolute favourite. The best. Okay, that answers that well. <laughs> Smashing. Okay, and you've... Uh, oh, we've got a oh you've, you've got a bargain with you, have you? Thank you very much for your calls. Sorry if you couldn't get through. Yes. Try again later. We've got a bath in us. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Eh? This is my dad's birthday present, you know. It's my dad's oh, birthday present. Is it so funny you should say yeah, that? Yes, it's funny, it? funny, funny I should mention that. You have that. to get it in one way or another. Like Rose is going to sing Happy Birthday. Is his name Jack? His name is Jack. But I call him Dad. So yeah. happy, happy Birthday, birthday Jack. Daddy Jack. <laughs> and don't eat too many sticky buns. Right. Well done. Happy Birthday, Jack. <laughs> Jack right. and Jill. I bet you get some cracks about that, don't you? There you go. Oh, look. Right, well, we've got this bag and what we've got. Yes, a strawberry bath mitt. <laughs> now we've got lots of soap. Strawberry soap, but you could make them into earrings. And some oh, strawberry toothpaste. It's very nice. And, oh dear. This is, and we've got strawberry these, bath oil. Lovely. You could smell like a strawberry all week, couldn't you? And strawberry lip balm. Nice. <laughs> and lots of little other things. Like all strawberry things. You put in your bath. Lip balm. You could taste like a strawberry, couldn't you, when you kiss somebody goodnight? Because yeah. everybody wants to kiss. Ooh. And we've okay. also got our last picture disc and right. copies of this single. Picture disc. Lovely. Right. And copies of a new single. Copies of the new single. <laughs> and a copy of the video, the new video. Doesn't look very exciting like that, but it's good once you get inside it. <laughs> Thank you. That's really nice. Right. And we have a little, I rather like that. Can I have you got a question? <laughs> Well, you can enter the phone. Oh, thank you. As long as you don't, don't look you. at the answer. I'll put the screen gauge in as well. Do you want to answer the question? Of... Ah, the question is, to what, what plant, family? plant family does the strawberry belong? Okay, to what plant family does the strawberry belong? Answer on a postcard too. An extra bonus, though, is the very first copy of the album. Well, whoever wins this will get the very first copy of the album anyone will ever get. And a strawberry switchblade jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it's special. It's going to be made into a jigsaw. Jigsaw puzzle. Again, done Lovely. Right, and it's one off. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Anyway, again, the question, and uh, the answer's a little closer to home than you might think. What plant family does the strawberry belong to? OK, answers on a postcard to Saturday Superstore, BBC Television, at London, W12HQT. What plant family does the strawberry belong to? Coming on the pop panel a bit later, aren't you? Yes. With some videos, which would be great. I'll keep practicing with my glove puppet. In the meantime, here's Sarah.